To get started with Design Your Own, you first need to choose a template to work on. Templates are located in this drop-down menu. Let's choose to create a ticket. You can customize the size of your ticket in this drop-down menu. For now, let's stay with about 5 inches by 2 inches. First, let's add a background image to our ticket. Click the Upload Image button, select your image, and open. When your image loads, you can change its proportions by clicking Original Size, Fit to Template, or using your mouse. Keep in mind that if you have the Lock Proportions button checked, your picture will retain its original proportions no matter how small or large you make it. If you prefer to have a white border around the edges of your image, simply scale your image to the green guide instead of the gray. You may add as many images as you wish and layer them with these buttons. Now that we have our image, let's add some text. You may add as many text elements as you need. For now, let's add a title for our event. You can change the font, size, and the color. Position your text using the arrow keys on your keyboard or in small increments with your mouse. You can also rotate your text depending on the orientation of your ticket. Let's do that again, this time with a different text element. Let's now add a perforated stub for easy re-entry into our event. Click the perforated stub button and a black dotted line will appear on your ticket. This line will not be printed on the final product, but acts as a guide for the layout process. Again, you can move the perforated stub with the arrow keys on your keyboard, with your mouse, or by typing how many inches from the edge you want your stub to appear. You can also add serial numbers for organization of your tickets. Let's add a serial number. You can change the font, color, and size. If we order 250 tickets, the serial numbers will be printed from 001 to 250 accordingly. You can change your start number if you wish. Now let's turn to the back of our ticket. As you can see, the perforated stub guide appears on the back as well as the front of your ticket. Let's add a barcode for extra safety. And let's also add a line element so that seating information can be handwritten as the tickets are distributed. Line elements can be placed anywhere on the ticket to separate or organize information. You can change the thickness of the line element using the up and down arrows here. Now that we've added an image, text, serial numbers, line element, barcode, and a perforated stub, let's check our proof of the final ticket. The proof shows how your final product will be printed. Check for any misplaced images or misspellings of text. If you're satisfied, close the check proof box and finalize your ticket purchase at the bottom of the page.